Hello, drier, sunnier weather heading our way as we go into the weekend. But for the time being, more wet weather to come for most of us overnight tonight. It feels pretty cold out there too. All thanks to low pressure sitting pretty much slap bang over us for most of Wednesday. And around this, we've had bands of cloud and rain and uh, even some snow over the hills of southern Scotland and northern England. That continues overnight, slowly fizzling out. Wet weather for Northern Ireland, another area of rain working across England and Wales. There'll be some places that see clearer spells. And where that happens, it'll turn cold. Pockets of frost over Wales, southwest England, and a fairly widespread hard frost over northern Scotland. Rural areas here could get down to minus eight. These are the temperatures in towns and cities as we start Thursday. So many of us start Thursday with a lot of cloud and further outbreaks of rain. across northern England, southern Scotland, northern Ireland, that rain will peter out. This area of rain working across Wales will linger in parts of southern England. A dull, damp day here, but elsewhere cheers up really quite nicely. Many of us seeing sunny spells from mid-morning onwards. Still a, a bit of a brisk and cold wind, but temperatures will be higher through the course of Thursday compared to Wednesday, more widely up to double figures. We're not feeling all that pleasant with the cloud and the rain across parts of the south. And here, actually, the cloud and the outbreaks of rain will continue on and off through Thursday evening. Elsewhere, we'll have largely clear skies once more, which will allow temperatures to drop quite sharply. But the weather is showing signs of settling down, all thanks to an area of high pressure. The rain in the south from this weather front, but that gets pushed out of the way as the high builds and builds through Friday and into the weekend, sitting slap bang over us. So we've replaced low pressure with high pressure. What that means is much more dry weather. And yes, for most of us, we should see the spring sunshine returning through the course of the weekend. It'll be a little milder with the help of some sunshine by day, but clear skies at night means, well, it is gonna still be pretty cold in the mornings and there will still be some nighttime frosts. Now that's the picture for most of us, but if I take you back to that pressure chart, just notice the number of isobars across the south. So although here it will by and large be dry at the weekend as well, these isobars squeezing together means there will at times be a fairly brisk and cold wind blowing here too. Goodbye.